So for the past couple of months, I've been using a wet palette on all of my 3D printed statues. In today's video, I'm going to go over my findings and suggestions of using a wet palette and to talk about some pros and cons of using a wet palette and ultimately to help you answer that question whether it's right for you or not. So when talking with a lot of miniature painters, uh, I'm finding out that a wet palette is a necessity in painting your miniatures. And I've seen a lot of videos and tutorials on how to use this simply because I've never used one in the past. So a couple of months ago, I decided to take the plunge and actually try using one. And today I'll go over my experience with it. So I decided to get the Army Painter wet palette uh, that was available on Amazon. I will post a link below in the description so if you decide to try one, the link is there for you. And I also did my research on it as well, looking at a lot of videos and a lot of different miniature painter channels here on YouTube. So a wet palette is great for thinning your paints with different kinds of mediums such as water, a flow improver, or some sort of thinner. And it also keeps your paints fresh, that way you can come back to them later. So in the statue world, you typically have one statue to paint at a time, rather than several, like an army or different types of miniatures all at one time to paint for a tabletop game. It is a great way to keep your paints fresh and thinned and come back to them later on if you decide to take a break or if you need to expand the project over several days. The one thing that it won't help you with is mixing one color like for a base coat or if you're running something through an airbrush. So I usually use a plastic mixing cup in order to achieve this by using water or some type of thinner. So where a wet palette comes super useful is in the details. This comes in handy when you can mix up smaller colors and keep them fresh again if you have to come back to them later on. Acrylic paints tend to dry fast, so this wet palette will actually keep them fresh and uh, ready to go at any time that you need to use them. Wet palette can also be useful if you're doing any kind of glazing. The other thing that I found out that you really don't need a wet palette for is dry brushing because you're usually just using the paint straight from the pot without doing any thinning on it. However, some people like to thin their paints even though they do some dry brushing. One other detailed thing that I noticed about using a wet palette is my brush strokes are basically hidden because I can thin my paint down adequately. A wet palette allowed me to thin my paint a little more or add more paint to it a lot easier to thicken it up if I need to. That way I can get the consistency that I need in order to paint the model. It's so much helpful in doing this because it allows you for a lot more work time rather than just using a dry palette where your paint's gonna dry very quickly. So basically in short, if you can get a hold of a wet palette and learn to use it, I would definitely recommend doing so. It's just another tool that you can use in your arsenal for getting that much better at painting. Another thing too is when you thin your paints a little too thin, that's quite all right. You can use multiple layers in order to achieve what you're looking for rather than going on and gooping on a whole bunch of paint that's just gonna look tacky. So while working on the last couple of models, I actually noticed that even after I used the wet palette for a while, I went back and checked on the paint. And after almost like a week, the paint was still fresh. So I hope this helps you out a little bit in making a decision whether or not to use a wet palette. Most wet palettes are not that expensive. So definitely I would go out and get one, experiment with it a little bit, and try to incorporate it into your 3D prints. So I hope that helps out a lot, guys. I do have to mention that we do have another patron. It's Filthy Drummer Phil. And I got some pretty good plans to do some tutorials and some live streams, especially for my patrons. And you too can be part of my Patreon. The link is below. Our Discord is up and running. So this was just a quick video just to show you my experiences of the wet palette and my recommendations and to go over some of the pros and cons about it. And thank you for your support on the channel. I do have some new builds coming up pretty soon, along with some other things that I'm going to share with you. Thanks everybody, and until the next time, until the next video, never stop learning, stay safe, and we'll see you.